We have not been made supernatural. We are now in the class of God in divine status. We are no longer ordinary. The problem that Christians are yet to embrace it to the dimension that you are not willing to accept the contradiction that Jesus died young for you to live long. Don't let this sleep on you. You can't die young. How can you escape from sickness, from poverty, from barrenness, from stagnancy, from evil occurrences? How can you escape? <laughs> you can't escape from the devil if you neglect who you are. In Christ, you are supernatural, you are a king, you are light, you are a priest, you are an ambassador. Go and find out who you are. Until you know who you are, your capacity will not be built up. In the book I wrote, How to Manifest Your Sonship, I wrote about the lion that was born as a baby lion in the bush. And because of some hunters that came, the mother lion ran away and left the baby lion. And the, the village finally expanded and they grew and were building houses around that area and they are sheep and goat migrated to the bush grazing and this young lion joined the sheep and the owner of the sheep was so happy and the sheep began to migrate with the lion and they grew together look at the funny thing the lion began to eat grass because of association you know you smoke because you are associating with smoke you drink because you are associating with drunkard yeah your association influences your uh, habit now as they were going it got to a time the lion was seeking to come and eat some of the sheep all the sheep ran including lion the lion doesn't know that he's a lion because he is he, he has, associating with sheep and goat. And then they ran. And then they came again when the lion roared. They ran again. Many times like that they ran. And the lion was running from the lion until the day came. Fortunately for them, they ran through the pathway where there was a stream. And as they were running through the pathway of the stream, and they just saw, as the lion got to the middle of the stream, he saw that the picture of him reflected from the mirror of the Toei River was similar to the one pursuing him. Ah, the one pursuing us is like what I'm saying. Then he stood in the river, he waited. As the lion came, they look at themselves, they are similar. Why was that running? And why other sheep ran away? Followed the old lion into the forest. The day he realized and discovered his identity, that was the end of his running up and down. Why you are still highly agitated by the spiritual contradictions surrounding your life? You are yet to discover who you are. I had the same problem being oppressed by witches and wizards, demons and unclean spirits. Every night and every day I was being beaten by witches. As a Christian, until the day I got in touch with Hebrews 12.22, that we are surrounded by angels. I said, what? We are surrounded by angels and I'm being beaten by witches every day. And I heard the voice. It's because you are meditating on their arrival. Every time you are thinking, when they come, when they come, if they come today, if they come today, and they will come. Okay, he said, turn your mind. Just behave as if they won't come. And meditate on your status that angels surround every believer. I wasn't seeing them, but I believe what I heard. I began to meditate that angels surround me. Angels around me. After some days, suddenly I wasn't seeing the witches again. I just discovered who I am. I believed it, and that was the end of the witches. Up to today, I'm looking for them. I can't find them again. Your understanding of who you are is your freedom. Until you begin to meditate on who you are as a child of God, you can't be free. You shall know the truth about who you are. And the truth about who you are is what sets you free. The freedom may be automatic, but it may be progressive. The freedom is sure, knowing who you are. I dedicate somebody listening to me. May God open your eyes that you may discover who you really are as a child of God, born into a supernatural family. The day you discover your identity, that's the day you begin to fight not for victory, but from victory. I say it again. The day you discover who you are, your fighting position changes. I speak over somebody listening to me. Every thought of Dying, dying, dying that has put your mind in bondage is broken today in the name of Jesus. Every thought of barrenness, thought of sadness, of poverty that you have accepted, that and you are even explaining why it should be so. I break the thought of your mind, pull that stronghold down in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare me the thought of a child of God, of your supernaturality, of your redemption. May it impact your soul.